Okay, thanks to fellow nerd snake artist who says that uh, perhaps we should go back and look at some of the high quality BBC science fiction programs of the late 80s. And uh, so we pick Blake Seven to talk about after this. Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd, and talking today about Blake Seven, an interesting uh, program that was created by Terry Nation. Now, Terry Nation was a prolific writer of Doctor Who episodes. He is the person who is the creator of the Daleks, the uh, greatest enemy of the Doctor. So uh, he's uh, had quite a history behind him. And in a conference at the BBC on new program ideas in the late 80s, uh, he came up uh, just off the top of his head with a title, Blake Seven, about a revolutionary that is trying to overthrow a corrupt Terran Federation. Uh, then uh, is given the job of writing the first series of it, of 13 episodes, and um, by his own admission, didn't know what he was getting himself in for. What turned out was a program of... Very cheesy special effects, as the BBC had during that time, but of uh, very good writing and very good acting, um, especially by Gareth Thomas and Paul Darrow, who played Blake and uh, Kerr Avon. And uh, between them and uh, uh, several other characters like uh, Villa and uh, Jenna and Gan and um, a captured ship, which they called Liberator, uh, the um, six people in one ship with a computer uh, tend to go and find their way uh, into skirmishes with the Federation in order to try to thwart their 1984-ish, Brave New World-ish kind of things. Nation called it himself a kind of dirty dozen in space, whereas uh, I can see uh, kind of the impetus for programs like Farscape, where you have essentially a shipload of criminals. In this case, in Blake 7, uh, uh, Blake was wrongly accused of crimes that uh, would put him on a prison planet, and uh, he was surrounded by others who were really criminals, uh, smugglers, uh, uh, safe crackers, uh, computer hackers, and such, and uh, even a murderer who was fitted with a limiting device in his head to where he couldn't kill anymore. That was Gan. And uh, when they, uh, the prison ship is approached by this derelict ship, they decide that it's too dangerous for the crew of the ship to go and investigate it. And so what they do is they send a group of the criminals, starting with Blake and, uh, and a couple of the others, Jenna and Avon, to uh, find out whether this place is safe or not. What they find is the ship is ready to accept them as the crew, and uh, they are able to overtake the prison ship, uh, get the other uh, members that were being transported from them, and uh, they go on to adventures from there. We see uh, uh, two main antagonists from the Terran Federation, uh, one being a fellow by the name of Travis, who is a star commander, and the supreme commander of all of the space military, uh, a character named Servalan. She later becomes, uh, by manner of a coup, uh, the president of the Federation and uh, proceeds to pursue our heroes uh, in being able to uh, take their ship, which is of much higher technology than is available to the rest. That's how this small group of seven are able to overcome some of the things of the Federation. However, uh, in the course of four seasons, uh, they lose several members of their crew, which are replaced by others, and uh, in fact, even lose their ship once and get another ship. So it is uh, uh, very much a story of people who are put up against a force that they cannot win against, but they fight the good fight anyway, and it creates... Uh, uh, four 
series of 14 stories, which are generally really good. Um, I recommend that to you. I uh, saw it back uh, in the 80s when a number of BBC shows were made available in the United States. And uh, it existed kind of in the same universe with Doctor Who, although uh, crossover episodes never happened between Doctor Who and Blake Seven. But it is on BritBox. Uh, just um, last year was um, uh, put on BritBox. If you have that, it's available in the United States and other places that uh, you can um, have a sampling of a number of uh, British produced programs. And uh, Blake Seven is one of the better examples alongside Doctor Who of the science fiction of the time. This was before Star Wars, before the comic book Good and Evil came about. Uh, this is more shades of gray in that uh, we have bad people fighting against other bad people and uh, in the end nobody wins. So uh, it is uh, uh, something to think about in uh, watching these shows and um, not pay too much attention to the cheesy special effects. I'd like to know what you think, if you've ever seen the show, or if you plan on watching it. Uh, I'd like to know what your comments are. Uh, please leave a note down in the comments. And of course, if you have not subscribed to this channel, uh, please do. We review science fiction, past and present, and uh, every once in a while, a fantasy program as well. So um, until next time, don't go far.